what's going on today guys so i want to do a quick uh first impressions on these uh origin boots or origin main boots um so to start off i'm a automotive mechanic so i go through boots pretty frequently i've probably gone through five or six maybe seven different work pairs of work boots in the uh, seven and a half years i've been doing this um wear them out or just start finding them really uncomfortable after wearing them all day so upon watching a bunch of boot videos and stumbling across rose anvil came across these and i kind of wanted to i didn't even intend to use the boots as work boots at first uh, i just kind of wanted to support origin and just their philosophy on how they uh, build these boots where basically every single component except the leather midsole is sourced in america um the midsole the leather midsole is sourced in South America, so it's not even like China or anything like that. Um, but they just, no one makes midsoles or leather midsoles here in America. So that's like the only thing that they couldn't get. But every other piece of this boot down to the laces, the stitching is all made here in America, which I really like. So I picked these up to just try them out. Um, ended up liking them and then wore them for a day at work and then realized that they were slightly too small to wear all day. I don't notice at first, but once I'm on my feet for, you know, five, six hours, I start to feel that there's just really not enough length in the toe box, um, as well as my pinky toe getting squished just a little bit. So these were a 10 EE width, uh, Corrado boot. Um, and then, so I just... I liked them though, so and I already worn them, so I wasn't gonna try and return them, even though they look brand new now. I did get them quite dirty. The soles were pretty black on the bottom, and then I had quite a bit of black stuff up on the toe. But I hit them with some saddle soap and then uh, horsehair brush and uh, Obanoff's LP, and they look literally brand new. So that leather does clean up well. Um, but I did like them enough to put in an order for these boots, which are their work boots, and I got ten and a half EE on these. Um, which is the perfect size and I think the work boot might just have a wider toe box in general um, I'll put these down side by side so you can kind of look here and this, these do have a comp toe but they they're just all around a little bit wider and a little bit longer uh, which ended up being the perfect size for me um, but I still do like these boots so I'll probably I'm probably not going to sell them or anything like that I'll probably still wear them around um, these have the Vibram wedge sole, which I do like that sole. Um, it's not a bad work sole, but these soles on these are pretty slick for mechanics, I think, based off you know the specifications of them. Um, so that's why I went with these Vibram soles, and they also have lug soles and a couple different options to uh, choose from. Um, main differences between these two boots is the comp toe. It has a, I think, fiberglass shank in it versus these do not have a shank at all, which is fine being a wedge sole. Um, and then I know there is gusseting on these tongues, which is not present on these boots. And then the only other difference I can see is these have a pull tab on the back. It's just the nylon pull tab, nothing special, but it'll do the job. Uh, these do not have any kind of pull tab. Um, but I shit you not, these are the most, both pairs are the most comfortable boot I've ever slipped on in being a brand new boot. Like some boots when you kind of slip on, you're like, oh, it's a little uncomfortable. I'll have to break them in. Like these, even on boots that I've bought that market no break in, these are truly feel like there's no break in. The leather is super soft and supple despite being thick per Rose Anvil. These are 2.5 to 2.8 millimeters thick on a single layer of leather, which is on the thicker side. And they're still soft and supple and are super comfortable from the get go. So uh, there's really no worries there um, compared to my last pair of work boots, which are these Thorough Goods. I could only wear them for, I think I wore them for like three weeks before I gave up. They are 10 and a half EE as well, and they're just too damn narrow. And even though this leather is soft, this leather still feels more comfortable. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's just because this is cheaper leather. Uh, but that leather, it's tanned by Seidel, which is a uh, really well-known and respect to tannery um it's just really good leather for for work boots um the laces they're nothing special they'll hold up for a while but they're definitely going to probably get replaced two or three times in the life of this boot maybe more the work boots come with these black laces and then the regular boots you get the yellow and brown laces they're the same laces just different colors um 
but I'm excited to see how well these hold up because um, this is probably the nicest work boot uh, I've owned. Currently, I'm wearing Danners, Danner Bull Runs, um, and they're comfortable at first, but after you're on your feet for a really long time in them, they start to hurt, and I've tried like four or five different insoles in them and nothing helps. There's just not enough support built into those boots to wear them all day for me. So these feel like they cradle my feet. So hopefully they will uh, be a good work boot and uh, maybe in a year or so I'll give you guys an update. So yeah, thanks for uh, checking out my video. And uh, if you want to pick up these boots, uh, head over to Origin. They usually have 10% off going on. So I think these go for after 10% off about 330 and those will be like 290 so I think it's a great deal for a nearly completely U.S. made boot and uh, as well as the quality and comfort that these boots provide. So, yeah, thanks for watching.